One of the most important things to understand about entrepreneurs is that they come in all shapes, sizes, genders, ages, backgrounds, and abilities. There is no entrepreneurship gene, and there is no person who does not have the capability to be entrepreneurial. However, there are competencies, and more importantly, perspectives that are extremely helpful to entrepreneurial success, and these can be developed like a muscle. Many people view entrepreneurs as fundamentally risk takers, but this is sort of true, but not true at the same time. Let me explain. So as we are societal creatures, most people feel most comfortable following a clear path for their lives that has been laid out in front of them by others who have gone before. Now this makes total sense. If a path has repeatedly led to success for hundreds of other people, then it makes sense to assume that this is the least risky path. Unfortunately, we humans are also very bad at intuitive statistics, and that means that we pick and choose the stories that we want to hear and filter out those that we don't. Through various biases, we pursue a life path that feels like it leads to success, but we filter out all the examples of when the path does not lead to success. And instead, we choose to believe that it will work for us. Now, for the entrepreneur, for whatever reason, maybe they had parents who demonstrated a different way of living, uh, maybe they had some challenging circumstances in their life that they overcame or that forced them to, to do something outside of the social norm. But for whatever reason, entrepreneurs decide that there are greater rewards available if instead of following the prescribed path in life, you analyse all the options and make choices purely based on the merit of the options. Now, the sad truth is that the usual path in our society often leads to risks such as burnout, low quality time with loved ones, uh, frequent redundancies, mental health problems. Now, I'm not saying these aren't risks worth taking for many people, but the problem is that most people don't even think of them when they choose their path. They don't even think about the risks. They are just following society almost blindly. But the entrepreneur prefers to pick and choose the risks that they take very consciously. So therefore, any career is risky, and most people take huge risks without even realising that's what they are. So an entrepreneur isn't necessarily any more of a risk taker than others. They are more conscious risk takers. They take ownership of their path. This requires a vivid and alert awareness of opportunities and threats. A good entrepreneur will always be looking all around themselves for new opportunities. It has been shown that people who think that they are lucky people are much more likely to notice money on the ground when they walk past it. Or they might also start a conversation with a stranger that ends up being a valuable business connection. Whereas those who are, feel that they are not lucky are much less likely to do those things. In the same way, entrepreneurs are much more likely to see opportunities when they are presented to them, whereas others are too busy trying to follow the narrow prescribed path laid out by society to even notice the opportunities available to them. The third skill an entrepreneur develops is a hunger and a passion for learning and exploring. The more you read, learn, hear, get excited about, get passionate about, the more likely you are to stumble across new ideas, paths, and opportunities. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur who wants to create new value through a venture of your own, or an intrapreneur who wants to create new value from within an existing company. Using these perspectives and approaches will enable the entrepreneur within you to take ownership of your future, jump on a wonderfully diverse range of opportunities, and feel passionate and fulfilled while you do it.